Welcome guys. I'm at rest doing some birding and I'm trying to take pictures of uh, I'm trying to take pictures of two small birds that flying here they hunting for insects and um, yeah they now it's so cold that there's not much insect over land so the insect this few insects that are out flying they're actually over the over the water this small pond here this small pond here has been the hunting ground for a red drum swallow the whole day. The red drum swallow is, uh, is a Mediterranean bird, but has become a little bit more common in uh, in Norway the last years. And now it's actually every year you will see red drums. Uh, there are some red drum swallows turning up in Norway, especially in spring. Late April, early May is the best time for them. Uh, when they follow the other swallows and martins that comes to Norway, that gonna breed in Norway. This bird, I know, is it maybe <coughs> between five and ten records a year now. They last for the last five years. So it used to be a huge rarity, but uh, now it's actually becoming more common. Normally breeding a bit southern Europe, but uh, <coughs> yeah, it's uh, as I said, it's becoming more common in Norway. There he comes. Sure. Yeah, so it's it's not afraid at all. It's just hunting for insects along the shore here. So sometimes he almost hits me. He's my he's only only about half a meter away from my head. You know, even not not even that. It's very difficult to take pictures of this bird because it's. Uh, <laughs> The flight is so irregular, so he's, <coughs> he's throwing himself from side to side, and it's a, so it's a bit of a challenge to follow him in the camera. So anyway, you're gonna do some attempts now. So that's it for now, and um, yeah, see if I can get some pictures of this bird. see check if I can the camera but uh, yeah I will will post it I will post the, the edited version later <laughs> so the camera I'm using is Olympus and uh, the lens I'm using is a 300 millimeter f4 on an Olympus because it's a four-third system micro four-third sensor that uh, 300 millimeter, this 300 millimeter equivalent of a 600 millimeter on uh, on a normal DSLR full frame. It's 600 millimeter, but uh, I can handheld it because of the amazing stabilizing system that Olympus have. So stabilizing in the camera and in the lens as well, and uh, yeah, yeah, you can handheld and shooting uh, these small birds flying around me just with. Uh, with uh, yeah, with no tripod, makes it much easier to follow the bird. If you have a tripod, it everything goes much slower. So I really, I really like to to not use a tripod when I shoot birds in flight. Uh, especially these swallows, they going back and forth all the time. So it's almost impossible to follow them. But uh, yeah, but I try. <laughs> I've been here for actually a few hours, and I have a few sharp ones that I'm okay with. So I'll, I'll try to. Yeah, I'll try to take a little bit more. The light is now fading a bit and the swallow is so fast so you need a lot of shutter speed, like high shutter speed to freeze the moment. So yeah, I try a little bit more. See what we get.
Okay guys, I think that's it for me now. I'm starting to get a bit cold. It's only about five degrees and I've been sitting on these cold rocks for a long time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video of uh, birding and a little bit of photography tip. And uh, of course, if you do, make sure to also visit some of the other content on my Pagophilia video blog. So there's a lot of cool things there. Bears, whales, icebergs collapsing and, and all sorts of things. So please have a look. And until next time, see you later.